So we're here in Code Connect, and we're going to be working with a C-sharp implementation of QuickSort. The first thing you'll notice is that instead of interacting with code on a file-by-file -file basis, we've broken apart the files and display code on a function-by-function -function basis. We can use the keyboard to easily navigate between these functions and see how they interact with other pieces of code. We can see that this particular function doesn't make any calls to user code, but when we navigate down to QuickSort, we can see that it calls both itself and partition. Now, a lot of visualization tools provide you with a static snapshot of the code to investigate, but as soon as you modify the code, the snapshot becomes obsolete. In contrast, Code Connect allows us to edit functions as we visualize the call graph, dynamically updating as we type. Let's call a logging function. It's immediately added to the rightmost column. A common question we hear is, can Code Connect handle recursion? Since we show function calls to the right of the current function, we simply see the recursive call made on the graph, one function call at a time. Code Connect allows us to view the code at a high level, in a manner similar to walking through a call graph. Now, you may have noticed IntelliSense pop up as we were typing new method invocations. That's because Code Connect is fully integrated within Visual Studio and deployed as a plugin. This allows users to retain the benefits they've come to enjoy from Visual Studio while using Code Connect to enhance it further. For example, we can use the go to definition function and navigate to the function's declaration within Visual Studio. As we type, Visual Studio updates automatically as both Code Connect and Visual Studio map changes to the same source buffer. This means that you never have to worry that Code Connect and Visual Studio might get out of sync. We can even make changes within Visual Studio and watch Code Connect update the call graph. You might imagine a situation where you're running two monitors, Code Connect on one and Visual Studio on the other. We're looking forward to getting feedback from the developer community. We're especially interested in hearing what IDEs and languages you think could benefit from Code Connect. You can register for email updates on our progress at codeconnect.io.